What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Mystic Watch. And we're back with another video where we're on a bit of a delayed schedule due to household events. My bad. But we're back, and we're going to be doing some Final Boss Gother. And in today's video, we're going to be going over, and we're going to be doing a blind run into Final Boss Gother. You can see that I haven't done anything, so it's going to be my first attempt. But we're going to be going in with a little bit of advice. So... I saw on Twitter that the homie Seaton had taken this team and ascended to the rank of one glory. So the man is standing at the top of the ladder. I don't know if he's still there actually. Let's take a look. Look at that. The homie Seaton representing this honor. Oh, we got another dishonor in there. Look at that. Yo. Our guild is popping off! Again, yeah, yeah, take that ambition. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so Homie Seaton's up there. And essentially, I just see his team, and I want to see why this team is so good. So, on JP, when this came out, I did not have Blue Lilia. Because, long story short, I was not spending money at that time. It was, you know, a little bit tight of a budget. You know, we can't, we can't be sell out watch all the time. Sometimes we're struggling to eat food out here and pay our student loans but sellout watch was more like uh cobra watch and we were trying to we we're trying to grind for lilia and do all 10 steps without spending money and i had enough on the final day of the banner to pull for blue lilia but i fell asleep and woke up during maintenance so i went nine steps did not pull blue lilia and did not get her for another four months and I struggled my, you know, I struggled on this final boss, and I had to use a completely free-to-play team, which I will showcase. The same free-to-play team that I used on JP, I will build up again and run over here. And it's essentially Blue Arthur, Weinhardt, uh, Dien with SR Elizabeth in the back running Lifesteal Food, and it was actually a really good team. It's it's tough to win. It is tough to win, but it is 100% possible. But now we're here with the the fully advanced tech. On how to how to take it out. Now I I don't know what what the tech is really. I just I just see this team being used. I don't I don't actually know what the hell is going on. But the cool thing about this is almost everyone here is technically free to play. Merlin is a genuine free to play unit. If you did all ten steps from the tickets that they gave you out, you have this Merlin. Lilia is uh, not really free to play, but in the same sense, she is a guaranteed unit if you have 242 gems, which I think is a really reasonable. And I feel like everyone should have been able to got her, you know to, to get her. I like if if you can't, I I'm sorry. And as in um, Hauser and Arthur, both of them are in the SR coin shop, and they get rotated for 20 coins uh, frequently. So in in my uh, like definition of free to play, I think this is pretty much there. That being said, it can vary depending on how many dupes and things like that you have. So if you saw Seaton's team, I didn't see his video because it wasn't up at the time, but I think it just came up as I'm recording this. He had almost like 100, like 90k CC. So he's definitely way up there beyond me. What food do we want to bring? I think he took on Pierce Rate. So actually, I'm going to go pause this, make some Pierce Rate food, and be right back. Okay, so we do have some Pierce Rate food. I just went to the village and bought some. Pass that on. And let's give it a shot. So the one thing I do remember about this boss fight is that it's very AoE focused. I believe in the second phase, if you don't do an AoE attack every turn, he will uh, go through, will reset his HP to, to max. And as for the first stage, it's like a balance between doing AoE and not killing the adds, right? Like the other two things. Because he gets se severely buffed for... For when these things die. Oh, now that's nice. Okay. Now, I don't want him to attack seal me. So, we're gonna do this. And the cool thing about this Mer this Merlin is almost like never used at all, uh, ever in the entire game. But, over here at least, she, uh, she does very well because of this card, of the attack uh, all enemies and decreased skill ranks. 
So, I, I, I won't combine cards, I'll just do this. Get some damage in before... Now, this is a problem, right? Like, I'm already doing too much damage to his, uh, to the other two dips. I think it's gonna rely on me getting a Merlin ultimate to make it past. Because the Merlin ultimate is single target. Oh, let's remove an ultimate gauge. Actually... This is a single target move, so I just want to hold on to that, just so I can do some damage. And there's no point in ranking it up, because he's immune to all debuffs. The upgraded version, anyways, uh, makes us that he can only use attack cards. Okay, one, two... And we will combine Lilia's cards. Ooh, that is some good damage! I was not expecting that. Okay, so we are in a good spot here. Never mind. Now we uh, stall a bit, I guess. Uh, just cycle through some Hauser cards. Uh, you always want to kind of keep one of these Lilia cards over here so you can remove an ultimate gauge when you can. I think it also gives a good amount of points. Okay. This Merlin is uh, surprising me a decent amount. I'm just waiting for the taunt to finish and then I'll use Merlin ult to finish him off. Oh, okay, okay. I think I have to heal here, to be honest. So if I'm going to heal, I might as well just do this. Just get some more points while I can. Okay, now we're in the danger zone. We cannot do too much more. Now. Okay, I actually don't think we need to use Merlin's ult. I believe we can go one, two, three. And this will do it. Ooh, the perfect abound. Look at that. I like this team already. Game? Okay, okay, I got I got I got afraid for a second. Rose uh, giving me a little heart attack. Oh, we got a nice little run going on here. And I might go for top 100, I do have a decent team, uh, but top 100 requires a lot of RNG in your favor, and better gear to be honest. Okay, so before he has any buffs on, we are going to uh, kachow him real quick. So, does the ordering matter here? No, so Lilia's move and Hauser's move are the same exact thing. So we'll do this. Decrease some skill ranks. Oh, nice. We got some good damage there. 
debuff removed. Okay, so I think here we're, we're on a bit of a clock. <sighs> Look at this. Just the stars have aligned for me. It's, I wish it was the other move so I could get some... I get so much better damage off. With a pure straight one. Okay, okay, relax, go there. Uh, I need to test something. Okay, no, that does not. I was trying to see if that would decrease skill ultimate or whatever, but it doesn't seem so. Oh wait, I had the <laughs> the Hauser move. Never mind. <laughs> okay, taunt is up, which means we rely on AOE now. Just give me golden of the other card, please. Boop. Super Cyclone! Oh my god, just look at these ultimates coming in turn after turn! I'm gonna use the Lilia one first because, on purpose, because it might not kill, so I can get more points. And I, I guess it doesn't matter here. Nice, look at that, perfect. Woo! Woo! Yo, this, this, I didn't realize Hauser was going to be the carry. Hauser popped off. What's the score going to be? Okay, 3301 on our first attempt. So, how did the score breakdown work? Point deduction. I guess I could have done faster. Additional HP. Hmm. Look at how many points you get for using uh, the rank downs and everything. Like that is that's nine. That's like a thousand points right there. Oh my god. Remove 10 debuffs from allies with skills with the purify effect. Okay. So I missed out on that. I don't know how much more that would have given me. But honestly, let's let's see where we, we end up with with 3301. You know, like I said, my goal is not top uh top not even top five percent. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to try harder. People are uh, going crazy. Okay, we're going for top 100. We're getting there, okay? No, we we can't we can't just uh, leave it alone. Look at these rewards. Look at these rewards. We gotta get them. Okay, so that's it. That is uh pretty much uh first attempt at Gother. Hopefully, you guys are having some good luck with your Gother stuff, and I will be making a full full on. No questions asked, free to play guide on on Final Boss Gother that uses pretty much all the SRs and uh, the end, coin shop the end. So with that, you will be able to beat this and at least get all your you know Final Boss currency out of the way. You might I don't know what kind of score you're gonna get, but you will be able to farm it for the currency. And my recommendation is always try to try to aim for in terms of rewards. 
you kind of you just want to get the gems right if you can aim for top 15 percent that is always the goal otherwise honestly you get top 50 you're doing fine you're you're doing fine and that's really it hopefully you guys uh, enjoy and i'll see you all next time peace out